Capital Hoops here with Murray Senior, EJ Jarvis. EJ, 30 points in your last ever game here. Uh, what's that like? What's it feel like, man? I mean, it feels great, man. Um, everybody on our team came out focused, dialed in, ready to play. Um, me and Ray, this is our last game uh, here, and just it felt good getting the W. You, you didn't play. You were just telling me you didn't play against Flint Hill when you guys played uh, in Virginia earlier in the year. How much does that hurt you with, with how well they've been doing, the ranking they've had all year, not being in that game? It's, not be able to contribute. Um, it, it hurt, man. I just wanted to, I wanted a fair shot at Flint Hill with a fully healthy team, and I think we got it tonight, and I'm, I'm happy that we won. Four fouls uh, picked up with like six minutes left to go. How much of that, uh, how long did that seem on the bench there? It was really only two minutes on the game clock, but it's, it must have seemed like an eternity there. Uh, it, felt, it felt longer than it was. Um, I think that uh, my teammates really pulled it out when I was on when I was on the bench, and I gotta be grateful for them for making stops on defense and knocking out shots. So yeah. The Q had I think 25 last time you guys played. Obviously, like we said, you weren't in the game. Um, you seemed to go right at him. Yeah. You know, from the start of the game there. What was what was kind of your approach? And coach tell you anything? Uh, he's he's a great player, um, and I know it'd be difficult to stop him. Mm -hmm. But um, I think just taking away his post game is one key factor, and just trying to get him in foul trouble is another key factor. Lastly, what, what are you going to remember about this place? Obviously, you guys still got the playoffs, but yeah. not here. What are you going to remember about this place? Um, for just the last four years, I, I really consider this place my home, uh, on and off the court. I think Murray has really built me into the person that I am today, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss it. All right. Thanks, EJ. Thank you. Capital Hoops here with Murray Senior, Rafe Ayers. Rafe, only a two-man senior class. Uh, you and you and EJ have been through a lot here. Is there a better way to kind of end the regular season your last year than this? I'm sorry, what was that? Is there a better way to end it than, than this, beating this team at home? No, man. I mean, I wish we got the win um, a couple days ago against Potomac, but to come in here and take off top five team in the DMV uh, for our last game, it was huge, man. We came out with energy and effort from the jump, and that's, that's what took us through. When he went out with six minutes left, what was the – was there a shift in the approach? Obviously, he was gelling pretty well offensively. Yeah. Um, but you guys held it down. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think I think Q got one easy bucket, and then you guys were double, tripling him in the post. Right. W did Coach say anything at that point, or did you guys just kind of take it on your own to, to step it up? Well, obviously, EJ is, is the tallest player in our team, and uh, with our backup center in, I knew I, I knew I needed to help more down in the post uh, to try and avoid him getting the catch uh, catch in the first place. Yeah. And then on offense, we knew we had to get sides and move the ball and continue to – you know, play the way we, we had been playing, um, and, and that's what we continue to do, and we hit some hit some big shots. I think this team, I could be wrong on this, but I think Flint Hill hadn't lost in conference since December, yes. I think. What, what message is kind of saying going into the playoffs from Array that, you know, when you guys are at full strength, you can do anything? Yeah, man, I mean, it, it proves that, we, you know, we're, we're here and we're here, we're ready to fight, and, you know, we can beat anybody. And to, and we didn't even have one of our uh, one of our starters today. So you know to, to, to see that to go into playoffs with this kind of momentum, it sends a message to everyone in the league. Lastly, I asked EJ four years here. What are you gonna remember most about about Murray? Uh, the family, man. The relationships, the the teamwork, the you know everything everything that you know EJ and I have been through together, and, and the rest of the team and the rest of the team as well, man. It's it's been special for me. So appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, Capital Hoops here with Murray Jr., Mateo Rice. Uh, Mateo, big free throws there down the stretch, man. You got put in a uh, in some clutch situations there. What was, what was going through your mind? Uh, you know, just got to finish the game right. You know, start out hard and finish it right. Yeah. You, uh, you they stepped up the, I forget, it slipped my mind, the point guard, number two for Flint Hill, was stepping up the pressure a lot there at the end when they were starting to get down. Um, you didn't seem to panic really at all, though. Is that something you worked on with this team? Yeah, you know. Plus situations, you got to keep your, keep your cool. And when they pressure up, you just got to stay true to what you do, what you practice every day. And so, you know, he stepped out the pressure, started forcing me left, forcing me right, trying to get me one way, and started, you know, falling back when I was, when I was going into him. You just got to stay strong. And if it, if it doesn't go your way, you know, you got to finish it off strong. EJ goes out with like six minutes left with four fouls. Well, what's the mindset of the team at that point? You know, he was really only out for two and a half, three minutes there, but probably seemed longer than that. But you guys didn't seem to panic at all. I mean, 
we play the same every game, right? And so we haven't had them for a start. We keep going, you know, regardless. And so we're used to it. We stay strong. He's not going to be here next year, but we're very happy he'd be with us today. Um, and so when he steps out, we just got to we try to hold it down for him until he can come back in. Obviously, you guys lost by, I think, 20 to them last time you played. Uh, and, and EJ wasn't in that game. Last game of the regular season here going into the playoffs, you have him back. You guys are almost at full strength. Um, but you knock off top five team in the area. What's that, what kind of message does that send to the, to the rest of the, uh, the MAC here? These were hot. We started off season well. We hit a little dip the last few games, but we're back. And so it's our turn to come forward. All right, Mateo, appreciate it, man. Thank you, sir.